Kachina Mualani? Woo! Everyone's here! Reunited at last. Did you miss us? I brought candy and cookies to share. Of course we missed you! Ooh, you brought source crackers too? Score! Ugh, just in time, traveler. It's so stifling in here. I was just about to go outside to get some air. It's the same temperature outside. Anyway, how was the trip here? Huh? To be honest, I also didn't expect this many people to show up. A third of this amount is more than enough for my plan. I need to ask them about you, gather their thoughts and hopes. That will help the formation of your ancient name. Oh, uh, you brought the Pilgrim's Chronicle, right? Yeah, let me, uh, let me take a look. Hmm, okay. The progress looks good. We have enough people. So let's get started. Sorry I'm late. Chaska showing up late for something? That's a first. I had to follow a group of monsters further than expected. When I got back, I heard about what you did for my tribe. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, let's save the pleasantries for later. Everyone's here, so let's get started. All right, let me remind everyone what's going to happen. I need each of you to stand before the Pilgrim's Chronicle and share your stories about the Traveler. Your words will be recorded and become a part of the Traveler's ancient name. Any, uh, questions? Nope. All right, then to start things off... Uh, hold on. Remember what we discussed? Oh, right. I almost forgot. Uh, Traveler, Paimon, you, uh, can't be here for this part. Huh? what everyone has to say? I need people's true thoughts and feelings. It's best if the subject in question isn't involved. It's much more difficult to express those feelings to someone's face. People get shy in those situations. It's, yeah, it's just how it is. You're right. Just like when Paimon doesn't have enough more to pay for her meal, but she's too embarrassed to tell the traveler, so she has to make up some excuse. <laughs> so basically, you want us to leave the Pilgrim's Chronicle here and wait nearby? Oh, don't worry. This shouldn't take long. Everything Shilonan said made sense, but did you see C. Lolly's reaction back there? She was definitely the one who decided we should leave. Hmm. But staying out here is just making Paimon even more curious about what everyone's gonna say. Anyway, you're gonna have an ancient name soon. Ooh, that's so exciting! Feels like we've been in Natland for quite a while already, doesn't it? You're right! If only Paimon could say a few things about you in there. Well, looks like you're about to have that chance. Shilonen, is everything all set? Almost. We're just missing one last thing. You've been by the Traveler's side the longest, Paimon. We need to hear what you have to say. But Paimon's not from that land. Oh, it doesn't matter. As a Traveler's companion, your contributions are extremely important. You're the perfect person to finish the story. Mm, sorry, Traveler. I just need to borrow Paimon for a second. It, it should be quick. <sighs> Paimon gave us a lot. Whew, and I mean a lot of information. I'm not even sure the Lord of the Night managed to get all of it. What? Already. Here, you can have the Pilgrim's Chronicle back. I'll need it when I forge the name, but you can continue your adventures in the meantime. And when the time comes, I will forge you an ancient name unlike anything that's come before. So that you, Moika, and Natlin as a whole, can finally put an end to this endless war. 